Hi everyone, this is Koren from Speed Ecom and I'm bringing you today a new tutorial in which we are going to see how you can create an FAQ system. And this is what it's going to look like. I think it will be a lot cleaner to have a different tab for each question instead of having all the text visible at once. We are going to add this tab system in a specific FAQ page, but you should know that you can use it pretty much anywhere you want in your product descriptions, in your collection descriptions or anywhere in your theme. Before we begin, please don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel. That way you will help us grow and you won't miss out on any of the upcoming tutorials. So the first thing you will do is finding the link in the description that will bring you to the written tutorial. And once you're on this page, you will have to copy the code that you see here. There you go. You copy this and you go to your store. Then you will go to your pages. Here you will create an FAQ page or you can name it whatever you want. You can see I already have created a page that we will be using. Once you're in this page, you will switch to HTML mode and you will paste the code. Then of course you have to save it. Then once it's done, you can click on view page and here we can see we have about nine different tabs. All the tabs have the same generic answer, but that's not important. You will be able to customize them. But what's important is the fact that the system works. You can see that once we open another tab, the first one closes. So it's pretty neat, I think. And once you've done this, now the next step is to add the FAQ page to your navigation menu. Indeed, you need to give your clients access to this page. So let's say we want to add the page on the header menu. For that, we will have to go to navigation, select the menu and add menu item. Here we will have to pick the page, FAQ, add, save, and then of course refresh the page. And there you go, we have the FAQ page in the navigation header menu. Alright, so far everything is coming along well, but now let's see how you can customize the different tabs. You will have to go back to your pages, select your page and switch once more to the show HTML mode. Now let's try and understand the code itself. It's divided into two different sections. First you have the style itself, so everything I'm about to highlight is about the style, about the look of the tabs. So all of this you shouldn't touch unless you know what you're doing, but I'm gonna come back to this a little later. And then everything that starts from the form here is about the content itself. So for example, right now we have nine tabs and let's say you want to add another one or maybe 10 more, it doesn't matter. But what you will have to do is start copying a specific section of the code. So you should start at the div opening here. So it says div class equal FAQ wrapper. So you start here and you end at the closure of the same div. So there you go. Just before the form, you copy this. Then you make some space and you paste the code. There you go. Once you've pasted it, you can see that we have two section nines. So we have to change the nine to 10 in the ID itself as well. FIQ 10, FAQ 10. There we go. And if we save the changes and refresh our page, we will see that now we have 10 different sections. And if you want to change the content itself, it's very easy and quick. You have to change the title here and the content of the tab itself just underneath. And lastly, let's see about modifying the design of the tabs itself. So you will have to go back to the styles section of the code. This is a bit more tricky. You, you have to be very careful not to delete anything that you shouldn't. So just be careful about what I'm saying and make the right changes. All right, so let's say we want to modify the background of the section. For that, you will find the background line in the FAQ label section. Here you can see that we have added a gradient color. So for example, let's say we make it go from dark black to uh, a less dark black. For example, let's say 555. Um, let's save and see what we have. There you go. But we, we don't see the text itself. So we will have to modify the color of the text. Let's put it to white. 
there you go this is perfect now but it's not great on hover because we didn't modify the color on hover for that we will have to find the correct section there you go faq label hover so you can change the background to a different hover uh, so you can see we can pretty much customize anything here you can customize the font size you can customize the line height you can customize the margins it's fairly straightforward just make sure you understand what you're modifying and at any rate if you if you make any mistakes that you don't know how to uh, correct you can just go back to the written tutorial and copy once more the styles section of the code so that you will come back to the original pre-configuration and then you can make some more changes so this is pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or you find it hard to customize something, you can leave us a comment, we always answer. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the upcoming great tutorials.